Hello everyone and welcome to SWE's American Dream. Uh, next set of shows set up for you over the next week or so. It's going to be a cracking one. We've got some fantastic matches lined up for you live here from Virginia Beach. V What's my lips? VA, is that Virginia? Is Virginia a state? First of all, then we are kicking off a match between Sonny Kiss and Jay White. Both these uh, wrestlers very high up in the rankings. Sonny Kiss currently on plus four, with Jay White currently on plus five. And of course, Jay White will be accompanied to the ring by the American Dream himself, Dusty Rolf. Terrible impression, I know. But we do have some information about why we have seen Dusty Rhodes around with Jay White in the past. Now, um... If you remember back to our opening show of this year, Wrestle Kingdom, which hopefully you do remember because it was only like a week ago, uh, we actually saw a match between Jay White and AJ Styles. And in that match, Dusty Rhodes interfered and attacked AJ Styles. And at the time, we had no idea what was going on. However, we now do have insider information from Jay White and Bullet Club. So essentially what they've done is they've hired Dusty Rhodes as a... Oh, wow, Jay White's just hammered Sunny Kiss. They've hired Dusty Rhodes as an independent contractor. Now, the idea of this whole situation is that um, Dusty is going to use the experience and knowledge he has from developing younger talent. And the whole point is for him to identify and develop young talent into Bullet Club um, to basically reinforce the strength of the stable and make it better and better and better. We saw, obviously, him interfering in that match um, against AJ Styles. I'm assuming that's to help the younger talent, Jay White, to continue uh, leveling himself up. But, uh, yeah, that's the reason why Dusty Rhodes was around in that match, and that's the reason why Dusty Rhodes was here. And so far, you can see the effect this having on Jay White is he's absolutely squashed. Sunny Kiss here. So we're continuing on tonight, then, with a... Uh, Bullet Club motif, we have got Bullet Club's cutest tag team, which is Taiji Ishimori teaming up with El Phantasmo, and they're going up against the team of AJ Styles and Omos. Now, um, AJ, of course, we discussed earlier on about the impact that Dusty Rhodes had in that match. I'm sure AJ Styles will be looking for some sort of retribution as well, and uh, bringing the big man Omos is definitely going to help him out in that situation. Taiji Ishimori so far, by the way, this year. Cracking start. Gone up four points so far this year. Puts himself up into 35th position in the rankings. Where's AJ Styles? Oh, AJ's up into 20th this year so far. Plus one. Which was that match against Jay White, which he did win in the end, even after the, the attack by Dusty Rhodes. But I'm assuming he's still going to want that retribution against Dusty. And uh, it's going to take him a while to get there, I think. Uh, Omos. I don't think we've seen... I think we saw two matches for Omos last year. Yes, two matches. And he lost them both. So uh, he's currently sat on minus two. So he's going to want this win, really. And El Phantasmo. Not Phantasma. Phantasmo. Uh, he's on plus two from two matches last year as well. So, uh, really, some interesting situations is AJ's locked in the calf crusher on Taiji Ishimori. Oh, my God, they're blitzing through this. Okay, El Fantasmo loses the tag team match, as does Taiji Ishimori loses as well. Nope, that's the wrong one. I've just updated Finn Balor instead, which I shouldn't do that. It should be there. Okay. Um, nope. Still not there. It should be there. There we go. That's correct. AJ Styles then with the tag team win. So AJ Styles up two points so far this year. Uh, and then we just need to upgrade Omos, who gets his first tag team win of the year. AJ and Omos get their first tag team win ever. And then Taiji Ishimura and El Fantasma with a tag team loss in the tag team rankings as well. There we go then. AJ Styles uh, looking good so far this year. Two matches, two wins. Um, and I'm sure he's probably going to come for Dusty Rhodes at some point. Right, let's move on to our main event. And here we go, the main event of the evening. We have got Okada versus Walter in an Extreme Rules match. Let's head straight into this one. Uh, this match, by the way, suggested by 404 Matsubo 2.0. Uh, 
And this one comes from the back of our end of year rumble for the male um, rankings sheet. Uh, basically, these two are the final two in that match, and it was a fantastic match between the two, which eventually Walter was able to come out on top of. Uh, Carter, though, wants a big opportunity and feels like a proper match rather than an over-the-top rope battle royal would have a much better opportunity. Uh, the previous two matches, by the way, I forgot to mention, they both come from an idea sent through by Monono G. So thank you very much, and um, you, you'll know what your idea was, and... We will see that um, progress on over the next few days as well. But yeah, just to basically fill in what's happened so far then, so we now know that Dusty Rhodes is working alongside Bullet Club to identify and train up the next generation of Bullet Club to really make sure they remain a force to reckon with in the future. And AJ Styles does not forget. Of course, he won that match against Jay White where Dusty Rhodes interfered. However, if he gets the opportunity, I'm sure he would love to um, to get his hands on Dusty. And uh, basically balancing on from that, we do now know that in our next episode of The American Dream, AJ Styles will be going one-on-one -on -one against Bullet Club's Dick Togo. Interesting. It seems that AJ has set his sights on... Um, on taking Bullet Club down a peg, I suppose. I'm sure AJ is, uh, well, maybe looking at it, thinking that um, the Bullet Club's not what it used to be. But I'm sure we'll get some um, some word from AJ in that next episode. When is that next episode, anyway? Um, we've not got my schedule open, you know. Um, it is going to... Oh, okay. I've just realised I've missed an episode or something I was going to do, but that's fine. Um, next episode is um, tomorrow. On Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. So, yeah, we'll see um, We'll see exactly how that one goes. Uh, I can tell... You oh, hang on a second. Have I gone... Yeah, sorry, I went too far forward. It's not a match against Dick Togo. Um, AJ Styles tomorrow. Okay, yeah, I misread it. It is Dick Togo. Basically, AJ Styles teaming with Gallows and Anderson will take on the team of House of Torture, Yujiro Takahashi, Sho, and Dick Togo. Okay, I knew I got it wrong somewhere. I scanned through my, uh, my sheet too quickly and I came up to the wrong show. Um... Throughout this week, by the way, we'll have a couple of championship matches. We'll see TJP defending his YouTube championship against Cesaro because I forgot to do that during our season's beatings pay-per-view. And also, uh, we will have the SWE Tag Team Championships on the line as the Brothers of Destruction will face off against Rick Steiner and Bron Brecker, of course, the two men that won the Father and Son Tag Team Tournament. Along with a lot of other interesting matches. I mean, tomorrow we will have a 10-man rumble with um, people that were... Um, people that acknowledged how much Regal had given to the company when it's released. So we've got Champa, Gargano, Bala, Joe, Owens, Breeze, Seth Rollins, Malachi Black, Adam Cole, and, of course, Regal himself. That'd be an interesting one. As uh, we have a sledgehammer now on the kneecap of Walter. And a big discus lariat on the outside as well. Okada now into the ring. Stalking and in with that Rainmaker clothesline on Walter. And that could be enough for the one, the two, and the three. And Okada does pick up the win against Walter in what was a very short show, really, wasn't it? I weren't expecting this at all. So let's have a quick look then. So Okada gets the single win. Walter not happy at all. 
and goes after Okada, but that's Okada. And Walter decking the referee. Walter really not happy. This now does drop Walter down to, my, to, to plus 11, which means that Walter is going to drop below Okada, Pete Dunne, and Lance Archer now. So Walter drops down to 7th position. Not a great year so far for Walter. He's on minus 2 for 2022, and he's on plus 11 overall, but Okada moves up into 4th position with plus 3 for the year and plus 13 overall, which is actually really good considering he's only ever had 13 matches ever in SWE, and he's on plus 13, so it's a damn good record that is for Okada. But yeah, Hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, of course, if you have, hit the like, the subscribe, whatever good stuff. And we will see you again tomorrow for our next episode of The American Dream. Like I said in tomorrow's episode, we've got that 10-man Regal Riot Rumble. We will have a triple threat between Kaylee Ray Viper, uh, otherwise known as Dewdrop, um, or Piper Niven, whichever way you want to go, uh, and Tony Storm. And in the main event, that six-man tag, AJ Styles, Gallows and Anderson versus Yujiro, Takahashi, Sho and Dick Togo. So I'm going to love you and leave you. Good night. God bless. I'll be the same. See you next time. Bye-bye.